Speaker, Bill English, Lead Government. I call you Zini Sage. E te manga o te whare tēnā koe. Tuarua ki nga mema o te tātou whare tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. And I must say it's very pleased um, to see the Honourable Nikki Kay back in the chamber with all of the energy that she has had before um, the time she had away to deal with some very serious um, health challenges. So welcome back. Um, Mr Speaker, many MPs have bounced back into this chamber refreshed and invigorated by a summer break and time with family and friends beyond these walls. But unlike our MPs, the environment hasn't had a break, and nature's news over the summer has been pretty dismal. We've had um, water theft in Northland uh, because of the huge drought there. We've had people stealing public land in Canterbury riverbeds, clearing vegetation, destroying habitat, turning it into farmland. More drought in the Hawke's Bay. These droughts are going to get more severe if we faced with catastrophic climate change, which under this government and its refusal to do anything much about getting emissions down is increasingly likely that we're not helping there. And at Waitangi, the water in the Bay of Islands looked very inviting with the sun sparkling on it, but the Ministry of Primary Industries has issued a health warning against collecting and eating any shellfish, mussels, scallops, um, oysters throughout the Bay of Islands because of the risk of getting diuretic shellfish poisoning, which is when um, shellfish ingest um, the neurotoxins that microscopic mm -hmm. algae produce. And there's a similar warning against taking shellfish on the Canterbury coast from Gore Bay to the mouth of the Hakateri or Ka uh, Ashburton River. And in Canterbury, you can't swim in many local rivers because, again, there are health warnings about the toxic cyanobacteria algal mats. You can't even take a dog walking in rivers like the Waikirikiri Selwyn or the Hurunui uh, because of the risk of them ingesting or messing around with some of these algal mats. And in Canterbury in January, I wanted to go for a swim. You saw massive, sorry, not you, Mr Speaker, we saw massive phytoplankton blooms off the Sumner, Taylor's Mistake coast, and across extensive areas in Littleton Harbour. They turned the water a lurid shade of green. Okay. Apparently they weren't toxic, but ECAN estimates that they were caused by nutrients being flushed down the Waimakariri River uh, by heavy rain. So not only is nutrient pollution causing major issues in our rivers, now it seems that our coastal seas are suffering from a similar nutrient overload. So what is National doing about it? What is National doing to ensure that Kiwis can enjoy their birthright of going for a swim uh, in their local river or gathering kai along the coast without the risk of getting sick? Very, very little. It's a tired, caretaker government which is lacking in new ideas. Now the Prime Minister did refer to the environment in passing in his statement, but he was recycling past policies which National has failed to implement. They were promises about water, um, doing something about water standards. That was promised last year. Nothing much happened. They were promises about marine protection. Well, we haven't seen that. They've been promised for the last seven or eight years. What we have seen with National is a total failure to strengthen the rules in the National Policy Statement on Freshwater to provide bottom line standards which provide for rivers that are fit for swimming, not wading, which provide decent controls on nitrogen, not ones that would take some rivers um, up to the same standards as the um, Yangtze River in China. National continues to give handouts and subsidies to the big irrigators and to agribusiness, tilting the economy towards more dairy and more destruction of our waterways. As the Green Party, if we get into government in September, which is our intention, we would have a suite of policies aimed at protecting water quality and improving and protecting the health of our environment on which our economy depends. I call uh, Catherine Delahunty, five minutes. Oh, tēnā koe, Mr Speaker, tēnā koutou te whare. Uh, 